Welcome to the Dark Palace. Not one of my favorite dungeons, honestly. And it doesn't necessarily have to do with everything being in darkness, though it can be annoying sometimes. It's more that a lot of the puzzles, even the simple ones, can get you stuck very easily. Even right from the start of the dungeon. Hmm. Also, a uh, little bit of a uh, insider thing. I had so many Darkest Dungeon jokes going, but this is the Dark Palace, so all that, out the fucking window. <laughs> well, out of us two, only you would get it, so... Yeah. Oh, one of those. Yep. There's a few of these timing puzzles. A few too many, I would say. Figure it out. Didn't we do this in Dark Forest? I don't know. Oh no, the eyeballs in there were movable. These ones are like, hey, shine on me. Yep, and there's a lot of cases of that. So there's a few mechanics. You'll see these arrows sort of wafting across the walls and you'll actually see what would normally be invisible platforms. So there will be cases where we'll sometimes want to make the room dark. You just need to know when you want light or not. Now keep these cracked platforms in mind. This is probably the stupidest part of the dungeon. Let me guess, because of the fact that there's a surface there, you need to blow up that floor so the light doesn't block the uh, floor from existing. And with that light, is necessary for a puzzle to get to the boss. Huh? Mirror shield? No, you'll you'll see. Basically, I just feel very stupid. Something about some of the tiles here reminds me a little bit of a. Uh... Super Mario World. It's very colorful, despite it being in darkness. Stop blowing up the torches! <laughs> Man, it even still has the old layout that's so surreal. Different music, though. I kind of miss the old tunes from the SNES. I feel like if anywhere you were going to have a call back to the music, it would be here, because that's the one everybody remembers. Wait a minute. I know a secret when I see it. Oh, or I don't. elevator door. No, 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 go back. Ow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is a door there. I just, I didn't put two and two together. Two and two makes bombs. Here we go. <laughs> This feels like the bomb dungeon, along with the torch. And the arrow for these jokers. I see you. Oh, man. You actually don't need the arrow to kill those guys. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's like the most memorable thing I used. Oh, they help, I'm sure. You can see that the arrows on the wall are actually pointing out that bombable floor. Oh, nice. But I need to kill these guys first. Uh oh. Green guys follow you around, red guys follow you around, and shoot fireballs. If you're both facing each other. They were not pleasant, ever. Man, that bomb radius is really small. Yeah. Luckily, they're weak. And you can also do this, which is a lot easier. Hmm, I don't think I've ever tried that. I know your secrets. Couldn't we just go to the left or something blocking us? I'm sure we'll see. That 
That torch is not on my level. Oh, great. Nope. You found a broken refrigerator. <laughs> How did that get there? You found another one. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that was a perfect storm of confusion. I did it, I think. Not again. You can sort of use the enemies to figure out where the invisible floors are. Maybe there's one there. Yep. Guys, this is gonna be like that fucking wall in the last level of Link to the Past where you had to bomb yourself in the specific- Oh, I guess not. You wanna know the one I'm talking about? Look for Ganon's castle, like, near the end where I'm struggling to figure out how to kill myself to get to a platform. <laughs> That annoys me the most. And also that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of the logic for being Painting Man is a bit confounding in some ways. Now, if only you had ether, you could find out where those damn floors are. It's a shame that in this game they just got rid of magic to begin with. Yeah. Wait, that sentence structure is weird. No. <laughs> they got rid of the spells. Yeah. It would be cool if they had something like it. Because it, it would still work with the stamina mechanic. Rented magic. <laughs> well, we do that with the fire rod and ice rod. Yeah, that's true. This is the room that leads to the boss. We need to shine the light onto eyeballs so that that crystal chomper in the middle opens up. So otherwise we can't get through it. I didn't figure this room out for a little while. You can see onto the side. There are switches. Bomb throw. Need a bomb throw. And yeah, then we just leave. Great. Yeah, I'll come back to it. The problem is that it's hard, it's difficult to tell that the floor is actually slanted, so when you throw a bomb, it will slide down to the switches. Okay, so this is the weirdest thing on the planet. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, did you have to use the painting mode to get through here? Yep. There are cracks in the walls you can only get through in painting mode. And there's a bunch of Dodongos. Oh, those are Dodongos. Okay. I never knew that. I just called them the fucking Triceratopses. Look at all that money you can't get. Yeah. Story of my life. I think that's the story of everyone's life. This room can be kind of sneaky, because there are the regular ghosts you can see, and then there are the invisible ghosts. And if you light a torch, you can't see the invisible ones. So I guess they're not invisible, they're... light deflecting. They're light allergic. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. So now we've established that bombable floors are a recurring mechanic in this dungeon. And it's still... I still haven't put two and two together. That helps. Oh man, this is gonna suck. <laughs> oh, I think he blocked it. Oh yes, damn it. Yeah, you can't. I don't think you can sword slash those guys. Period. What are you gonna do? Here, have that. <laughs> Problem solved. Oh my face. the other guys down here. These guys don't know how to block. Oh, you have to... Okay, so yeah, that's a... 
That's a clever use of the 3D mechanic. Yeah. This entire time I was just sitting there thinking, why didn't you just go up the elevator? Whoops. <laughs> nice. The game has a lot of clever uses of 3D. There are a lot of cases where you can just sort of walk along walls and eventually you'll reach something. Sometimes it's not always for a puzzle, though. Which is how it's easy to get lost here. And there's so many cases of it that if you do get lost, and if you're anything like me, you'll just end up doing all the same things all over again. Like, trying to bomb the crap out what? Oh, I see what you're doing. Yep. The bomb sort of had to be on the level of the crack in the wall in order to open it. That's a fairy fountain. Meanwhile, over here we have... Me finally figuring out, maybe I should kill the enemies. Oh, wow, they explode on impact. I never knew that. Yep, as long as they hit an enemy, the bombs will explode. Doesn't immediately kill the Dodongos. But just two of them takes care of him. Oh, he's right there waiting for me. And also, there's a switch. Money. Money. So I didn't even need to kill the enemies, I just needed to find the switch. Actually, I don't think it's money, I think it's a key. Yep. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I was about to go on this uh, little tirade of how it seems like this game was expecting people to be bad, and yet... You're not. I get kind of sick of this room. Because when you hit that switch, those two walls flip, and that's how you need to get through these. <laughs> so this is another use of the bombs. It's like the time switch in the first room. And they're doing a lot of cool stuff with this. I like it. Yeah. But I get tired of it. <laughs> I thought you got swapped back and I was just about to laugh forever. <laughs> So I'll want to drop down there, but then I'll also need to come back here and do all this again. Wait, what the hell? I keep running out of stamina. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of a flaw in the stamina system there, having it rely on both the special abilities and your uh, 2D mode. No, why not? Sure. Oh, made it, oh, yeah. nice. I'm surprised you got away with that. <laughs> Me too. Now, this is kind of a funny room. Eventually, the floor tiles will start disappearing. Oh, yeah, that old staple. Happens every time you come into the room, too. You think eventually you just stick. Sort of secret treasure chest. Is it really a secret if it's not worth it? <laughs> That's almost profound. You found my secret object, the Uga Chaka bottle cap. <laughs> nice. If you keep an eye on the walls in this area, you'll also see more of those. Uh, what was it? the Helmosaur? Was it? Yeah. You'll see more of that Helmosaur face, and that clues you in that you also need to use these switches, like drop bombs next to them. Also, I hate these ghosts. Um, so that you can go into painting mode on the walls, and then when the bombs explode, you'll flip over to a secret room. So this entire time, you've been constantly dropping a bomb, using a torch, and then killing yourself. Well, call it strategy. That's a hint, that that light is going down to those eyeballs to open up the boss door. Yeah, we're still missing one. Probably should have saved those hearts. That's fine. This was hero mode, maybe. Yeah. 
<laughs> you learned. Eventually, I figure it out. But right now, I'm just focusing on opening up all of the windows. Wow, that's a throwing arm. Yeah. There's like a little gap in that platform. Does that take you anywhere or just uh There we go. I don't know. If you fall down, you'll end up in a lower level. That much I know. So do we have enough to get the uh, crazy sword yet? No. Way too many close calls there. I think we need one more. Oh, it's two for one? Okay. Yep. For both of the upgrades to the sword. Again, I still don't put two and two together. That an important piece I'm missing has to do with the bombable floor. What? Oh, <laughs> that's just a hint. Go this way. So figure, if it worked for the room to the north, maybe there is one to the south. Then there is. Oh, wow. And it's got a gold ruby in it. Uh, kind of worthless. Now I figure it out. See right there, are you at that angle, you can see it's a slanted floor. Oh, I could have told period, but... <laughs> well, I couldn't. Keep in mind, you are looking at a slightly blown up video. Yeah, that's true. Slightly blown up, and then I made a full screen! 1080p Nintendo 3DS. It looks ugly as fuck. I never got the big key, but I still haven't opened up the damn... This thing, the chomper. I'm still going back here, I'm still looking for secrets. Thinking maybe there's one over here, because there is that. So it's just a matter of getting over there in time. It's not a huge secret, but it's extra stuff, mostly just rupees. A whole lot of them, too. Wow. Is this the equivalent of that one big groupie room in uh, Link to the Past? Possibly. It has a name that I can never remember. Now I figure it out. See that light getting blocked by it? That goes down and hits the last eyeball. You didn't get the bloopy bloop hint, though. No. I kind of like that mechanic of the floor disappearing as you approach it, rather than it appearing as you approach it. Yeah. Because it's more of a test of memory than a test of faith. Time for your favorite boss. Oh... Go away. What? I just need to find him first. Is he a painting? No, I think you can just barely see his toes. I just need to piss him off with light. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's awesome. <laughs> so, Helmsor, just smack him with a rock. Oh, oh, oh a hammer. A hammer, yeah. He's gonna shoot a bunch of spines at you. I'm seeing maybe the bomb... Yeah, this bomb also works. Well, this is the bomb and hammer dungeon, but I just now notice he's he's shooting money at you. And he's covered in money. It's the rupee sore. Hell yes. Oh, wow, yeah. We're really making up for my death last video. This is kind of cool, because they did something similar to this in Skyward Sword, where they explained that economy in Hyrule is established by mining. That's true. In this case, we mine living creatures. Ah, fuck. Alright, time to be in the bullshit mode. Oh, he's like a lizard dog. He's even wagging his tail and trying to kill me, like all dogs do. This is a lot easier than the original because the original had that mix-up game with- Oh, he's... shit. I wonder where he is. 
Oh man, I think the yeah, the walls are crushing down on me. Oh, we're Indiana Jones. Wow. Oh no, he's just running around. That camera angle confused me. It's Shadow Dog too. Wow. He's pissed. Yeah. I do really like that torch mechanic. It kind of reminds me of the Dodongo's Cavern. So I'd say I had an easier time with him than you did. Yeah, because you didn't have to deal with both the fireballs and that stupid tail mixing up and just trapping you. Plus, you could just hide in walls. Yeah. Can you tell I'm still salty? <laughs> There's where the kid went. Oh my god, the kid's a sage. Of course he is. Who could have guessed? Ignorance equals purity, didn't you know? Of course you didn't. You're ignorant. Ah, uh. Shit, I'm gonna be a sage. <laughs> I'm gonna be trapped in this dimension forever. Hope you didn't have any future plans, Gully, because you're stuck here forever. I like Gully. Oh. <laughs> you're a funny kid. What an asshole. I'm scared. <laughs> Fears for losers. He's still kind of an idiot kid. Oh, yeah. It's not seven sages you did. Ah, ruffles the hair. You gonna talk to Gonzo? No. Aw. They all say the same things. I know. I still wanted to mock him for being stuck there forever, not being <laughs> destined forever a loser. And once we clear out the dungeon, those soldiers disappear. So now I can go back and collect all these and laugh in their faces. Money! It means I can also get back and get this heart piece. Okay, this has been bugging me since the past video. What are those spires with the white crystal on top of them? <laughs> They're just spires. Oh. They're mainly for you to go into them to hide from the guards. I thought you had to, like, hit them with a bomb or something dumb. No. I think I tried. Or at least with a hammer, but nothing happened. No. Oh, I miss Irene. I do too. Heading back to the Treacherous Tower, we just start there and then do a little bit more exploring. Next is going to be an exploration video in the lead up to Turtle Rock. Ooh, that place is scary. Turtle Rock has gone through one of the most drastic changes compared to Link to the Past. Is it harder? It might be even easier, thinking about it, but it's hotter, let's say. Ah, oh, because the entire gimmick of Turtle Rock was, do you have the cane of Somali? No, get fucked. <laughs> In this case, it's more having the ice rod. Ah, okay. I'm gonna cool this turtle's heart with a fresh island song? <laughs> I forget how the saying goes. I'm... <laughs> For once, you know some reference that I don't get. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna quench his fiery heart with a breezy island song. Good night, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna pour alcohol down his face. Yes, and immolate him. <laughs> with an ice rod. <laughs> 